All right, so I got another fisheye ride. Um, probably gonna shoot the shit again, and uh, let's embarrass ourselves. For, I always feel like I'm forgetting something when I leave the house when I'm riding my bike. <laughs> I don't know why. Probably because I always forget something that I want to bring. I've been trying to pack light lately. Um, no backpack. Leave a, leave a work shirt in my locker and my, my badge too. I'm usually able to get into the building without my badge, uh, since they only they usually only lock it at certain hours, um, and then also on the weekend. But I, I don't work the weekend, so that's good. Let's see if we can squeeze by this. slipped I would have died. This morning, I was I was thinking about uh, Dale Carnegie's uh, "How to Win Friends and Influence" and like uh, just be, being a a better conversationalist. Like, I think that's something I, I kind of struggle with. I'm, I'm kind of like introverted, um, but you know, if, once you get me talking about like. Uh, music or, or like photography or, or like uh, running or cycling uh, stuff I'm really interested in I can really get going so it's kind of like um, I need to get better at asking people about uh, what, the, what they're into and, and try to strike up conversations with that and like have to find either commonality or, or just a genuine interest in, in what they're into. The, this uh, this one guy, he'd always ask people, uh, "What do you like to do for fun?" So, so I like to, to ask people that sometimes, but ma mainly like at work, I like to ask people like uh, like what music they they like. Most people like music, and, and I love like uh, I love listening to to new stuff I've never heard, even if it's like new stuff from you know, uh, another decade back or something. Like lately, I started listening like uh, some '80s like hard rock and stuff. It's something I. I didn't really, I haven't really listened to much of um, But yeah, it seems like in the last few years, like, I've just been listening to way, way more of this stuff. But I, I've always been pretty open-minded with music, so. Um, I, I never want to be, like, a 
know some people only listen to stuff they listen to um, when they're in high school or college. I think there's a lot of good, good new stuff out right now. I, I've seen interviews with like the old rockers from the 60s, like like the Who and Rolling Stone, Rolling Stones, and they always said like in their heyday in the 60s, like there weren't that many bands. And they're always like, yeah, but now, man, there's a lot of good stuff, and, like, there's more bands, so, like, uh, I think that's, like, there, there's more, there's more good bands, but then there's also, like, more bad bands, but I, I can't remember if it was, uh, Pete Townsend or, or Keith Richards, uh, they were talking about, like, there was still a lot of crappy bands in the 60s. Um, but, you know, everyone thinks that it's you know, like the golden age and stuff, but like, he's saying like, you know, you're always going to have, you're always going to have bad, bad stuff mixed with good stuff. And I think right now there's just like way more options. You just have to know how to, how to find it. Maybe that's, that's like, could be a metaphor for anything in life. Finding opportunities. <sighs> All right, man, it's kind of rambling, but <laughs> need to get a mirror. <laughs> Yeah, that the Matthew McConaughey book, Green Lights, is all about that. It's like re recognizing opportunities. That's the green light, and then a yellow light like slows you down. Maybe uh, red light uh, stops you in your tracks. Uh, but then that could be a time for reflection and figure out things to find your next green light. Man, that sky looks beautiful. song uh, Vaseline by uh, Stone Temple Pilots stuck in my head. I'm probably going to listen to them. I didn't start listening to them until like maybe a couple months ago. <laughs> Better late than never. They, they have a good mix of like 
hard rock and psychedelia. The girl's like, who the fuck is he talking to? Yeah, I like, I like bands that'll mix, like, even in the same song, like, hard rock or whatever, and then, like, psychedelic section or, or vice versa. I feel like, uh, that, that was, like, a big thing in the 90s uh, for the bands that I like. Like, uh, Smashing Pumpkins really good at that. Uh, Jane's Addiction. Pretty, pretty sure the pumpkins are pretty influenced by Jane's Addiction. Like the, you can kind of hear it in the, the Pumpkins uh, first album. It's like Some of their songs sound kind of like Jane's Addiction a bit. Um, especially I, I think that the drummer was probably influenced by, uh, I think that the drummer in Jane's Addiction is uh, Perkins, so, uh, like, Ch Chamberlain of uh, Pumpkins was probably, I, I think I read he was influenced by him. Both, both awesome drummers. Since I, I grew up primarily playing guitar. Didn't really listen to uh, exactly what drummers were doing until like several year, years ago. Uh, I got a, I was renting a practice space, a shared practice space that had a drum kit and then I started dabbling with drums and then kind of learning, learning that, how that ties into the whole band. Um, and I think like, yeah, jamming with, with my youngest brother and like we take turns on drums. That was a good experience. Like, I think, uh, learning new instruments only makes like you better at your primary instrument. I mean, as long as you have enough time to practice your primary instrument. and I think that's kind of helps when you think about like uh, lead guitar and stuff when I want to do with that atmosphere. I'm more of like I'm not really a, a clean technical player like like my brother. Um, oh man, that sun is good. But yeah. Friends are always like, they, they love the sounds I come up with. Like, like the stuff I do with the delay pedal, I, I use that almost as, an, I can use it almost as an instrument versus just an effect. But anyways. with this rambling is maybe like learning learning new things um, that help you with the stuff that you already know it, it only like strengthens the stuff you already know a lot of times just being open minded is good
some YouTube music. It's a beautiful day. I used to not like U2 until I like got, I think it's called, I think the album was War. I got that on vinyl. Oh man, there's like so much cool stuff on there. I think that guitarist, he comes up with cool sounds. He, like, people criticize him because he's like, uh, he'll just use a lot of effects to, uh, to make something sound really cool and just he'll whatever he's playing on guitar is kind of simple but man it's like fuck you like can you can you come up with uh, that cool shit atmosphere for the, the song and the whole band um, like the band Bush I was listening to that them uh, the uh, the lead guitarist for like the first few albums he was really good uh, his name's Nigel he he had add some cool lead that's like atmospheric and stuff uh kind of just different and unique it's like <clears throat> i think uh like built to spill is kind of like that too like the it's not too technical or anything just like just feels good and sounds good and, and those guys are influenced by uh Neil Young and stuff and Neil Young he's kind of that way on his guitar we're going to go a different way than than the other day just this section
really like Tony Iommi. He's like, he, he can get pretty technical, but he still has like really cool feel. He's like the, almost like an archetype or something. People should check out uh, my friend Matt's channel, Brucephus. He uh, brews beer in his garage. It'd be cool if uh, he could make me a non-alcoholic one, but I don't know. I don't know what the process is on that. Might be just too difficult and not, not worth the uh, time. And then also trying to like mail it to me would be annoying. Just do some flat rate. <laughs> that was like triathlon training. <laughs> I signed up for the uh, Portland Marathon. <laughs> I'll have a month of training. I went for a run the other day. I was like, fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna have to transfer my my thing to a half marathon, so I'm gonna do that. I've done, uh, I think, three or four marathons, but I, I usually start training like maybe like four months before the race. But I've mainly been cycling this summer, so I don't need to train for the half marathon because. Uh, I'm, that one's like for me I, I've, I'm always in like decent enough condition to to run that without any extensive training but doing the, uh, the full marathon it seems like it's like four times harder Cycling doesn't translate into running, and running doesn't translate into cycling. When I started cycling to, to work uh, several months ago, I was like, oh yeah, this will be easy. But, but it wasn't easy, it was like, after a week I was like, just sore. Even though, 
I was running like 30 plus miles a week or some something. It's just like different muscles. Like I've always like I have a slow heart rate. Um, so like the cardio aspect isn't bad. Um, it's just like the muscle aspect is is different. It works your muscles differently. Zigzag. Oh man, I just realized what I forgot. I forgot my glasses. <laughs> I got pretty good practice of uh, not wearing glasses uh, when I was wearing the KN95 because they just fog up. So I just wasn't wearing glasses. It's mainly mainly distance. I have an issue seeing things clearly. I can I can go running and biking without issue. It's just like, like I can read that street sign. It's just a little fuzzy. The most important thing is uh, I'm able to read the computer screen <laughs> and all the paperwork and stuff. Yeah, distant stuff being kind of blurry is kind of annoying. It's mainly at night where like, yeah, I need glasses to drive. Get that leaf off of my tire, that was annoying. something. <clears throat> My wife's not working today, so she can't bring it.
It's a beautiful day. brother has a really good singing voice. I, I wish I could sing. He tried to s teach me how to sing, but I just couldn't get it. I think if I, if I really practiced at it, I could probably, probably get somewhere where I could get something usable, but uh, I just don't have a lot of time to do that. like when we were uh, writing, writing and recording, um, I was like, man, uh, if I'm spending all this time trying to like learn how to sing, then it's going to slow everything down because I was like uh, really wanting to put out like uh, a good amount of songs to, to put on SoundCloud. But, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like a hermit, so I don't really have a lot of friends to share the, the songs with. Just uh, ma mainly some music friends and stuff, so. But, yeah, my, the guys I, I jam with, they're pretty cool. We, we've been friends for, like, a really long time. What? What of a my, my buddy Todd? He's he's an awesome guitarist, and he's got two kids. So like, uh, we do, we'll do some play dates with, with our kids. These graphics are cool. Be 
cool to like rework that into something like some kind of my own artwork or something like collage or something my my buddy George that plays drums he's really good at uh, really good at photography and uh, collages Fish is cool. Man, it seems like, yeah, the first time I had to do the COVID quarantine, oh man, that was, that was the worst. I was so pissed off. It's like, like, man, it's such a gift to be alive, but then like, when, when you can't, when you can't go out and do the stuff you want to do, it's like, ah, it just pisses me off so much. And then, like, knowing that, that people, like, can go out and do stuff, choose not to. That's, that's not, like, that's wasting wasting your gift to be alive. <sighs> this, this last time I was in isolation or whatever from the exposure. I got, I got pretty cranky as well. Not as bad, but it was also not as long. Um, that I had to be living in that back room. But it kind of pissed me off because like, Talk to my wife, and she said once my kids start school, that probably won't have to do do that quarantine and isolation business. And she starts school in like this week, so kind of like. 
had to do all that stuff, even though, like, pretty soon she's going to go to school and likely get COVID or something sometime. Maybe not this year, but it's like... <clears throat> sucks to think about that. But she's healthy. Uh, my wife's healthy. I'm healthy. Unfortunately, my in-laws are old and not so healthy. So, yeah, just thinking about that sucks. But I, I can't. Uh, I don't want to, like, quit my job and so I can do homeschooling. I don't want to do that. It's like, I think my, my daughter needs to, she's very social, so, like, for her to go to school, it's like, she'll love it. It's kind of weird, these kids, uh, uh, I prefer the online stuff. I don't think I would do as well online. <clears throat> it's like, how, how are you supposed to meet, uh, New, new kids or whatever and like if you're doing online stuff you probably just have uh, old friends that pre-pandemic I don't know they, I don't know what they do at the schools maybe they have like some social gatherings and stuff um, now that now that the uh, things are open opened up At least they should, I don't know. I guess they have like school dances and stuff, probably. <clears throat> I guess if you're doing online stuff, I don't know if they have, you, <laughs> you couldn't be in band. You couldn't be in a PE class. Well, maybe you could. They just tell you what to do, and you have to do it in front of a camera. Like do some push-ups or something. <laughs> Online PE class would be like a uh, prison workout. It sucks. It always takes forever. There's a goofy sign across the street I'm going to try to get some video of. Yeah. <laughs> 
today is going to be a great day. I hope so. So far this bike ride's been pretty good. I can't find any of my, uh, my cheap Casio watches. I have two of them. They're like really, uh, really thin and like water proof to some degree. I don't know what time it is. Uh, I can't see the time on this uh, on my phone because it's shooting video. But I allotted myself an hour to get to work, and it usually it takes like 40 something minutes. stop too many times to to look at stuff. Might shoot a time lapse of the ride back since it's kind of long and I have to walk a lot of it. Uh, I don't know if I'd well I could shoot a regular like video and then do the time lapse of some of them. The walking section probably is about 10 minutes, maybe less. Sometimes I I ride up it, but it's kind of difficult. 